Hi, I'm Sarah Dean with Fit Healthy Moms, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about pull-ups. So, one or two workouts ago I talked a little bit about pull-ups and why they're great, and I want to show you how I do pull-ups at my house and how anyone can do pull-ups at their house. Women especially get really scared about pull-ups and they think that they're too hard and that they can't be done, um, but they can be. And I'm going to show you some really simple modifications that make pull-ups possible for just about everyone. Now, if you have a really bad shoulder issue or problem or neck problem, you might want to check with your doctor first. But for the most part, if you're healthy, um, pull-ups are great. And the really wonderful thing about pull-ups is they work so many muscles in your back. So most of us spend all day like this in front of a computer or with a new baby, you're always in this position here. If you're nursing, you're holding the baby, so you're always in this forward position. Pull-ups work all these muscles across your back to open up the chest and get your posture nice and tall. So they're actually really, really important. And they're much more important than push-ups because push-ups just continue to strengthen the chest, which really gets worked all day long in Western society because everything we do is in this motion. So it's really important that you're doing back exercises that strengthen the back, tighten those muscles back there, and open up the chest. So I'm going to show you how to do some pull-ups with a pull-up bar at your house. Again, pretty much anyone can do this. So I hope you get a pull-up bar. I posted some links on where you can get them. They're not very expensive, and you can see right here, I have mine right here in my door jam. So it comes in and out. This is the guest, our guest bedroom. I just swing it under here. It clips right across the top of the door jam. I always double check and make sure it's on there. Um, and then from there, I can go right into my pull-up exercise. So I'm going to show you a couple of different hand positions, and then I'm going to also show you the biggest trick. So if you look down right here in front of the door, I have a chair. The chair is the magical key. So anytime I go into a pull-up position here, to maximize my success, I put my chair out here. And if I bring this chair in really close, it's going to give me a lot of help and a lot of support. So from here, I can put one leg up on the chair, and I can push up through my legs as I pull up through my arms to come up and down. And I come up and down right here. To make it harder, I move the chair out a little ways, and then again, same thing, one foot forward, and I go into my pull-ups. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about grip here. So you have your neutral grip which right here, which is going to be your easiest grip. You have your chin-up grip right here, your underhand grip. And this is going to be your second easiest grip. And then you have wide grip here, definitely a little harder. And then you also have your narrow grip where you bring your hands to the center right here and come up and down. So you have a lot of different modifications you can do. If you get bored with those, email me. And I'll send you some other pull-up positions that are a little bit more fun, a little bit more creative. But those four will give you something to master. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera to the other side just so that you can see a little bit better how it looks as I'm doing it with the chair so that you can model that once you have your pull-up bar at your house. And then from there, I know that you're going to go down and go ahead and order a bar. So I'm going to go ahead and rearrange the camera and I'll be right back. Hi, so now you're seeing me from the other end of our guest bedroom. Um, so again, I'm going to show you neutral grip, one foot on the chair here, and I try to alternate legs. So if I do a set on the left leg, then I'll do a set on the right leg. The more I pull through my arms, the less I want to push through my legs. So I'm in my neutral grip here, and I might do, a, might do a full set there, go do another leg exercise or a chest exercise, and then come back, go into my chin-up grip here, my big pull up here, do a full set there. If I'm feeling really good, I might move this chair out a little ways and become more aware of pulling with my arms and not pushing so much with my legs. So going really light through my leg, let my leg just kind of hang out on the chair. I can even kind of straighten that leg there and then really force myself to pull through my back as I come up and down. The last option I want to show you is this band right here. And you can get these bands at performbetter.com or power-systems.com. Throw it over the bar, wrap it around. You can put your knee in the bar, or depending on your height, you can also put your toe in here. I use my knee. And then from here, you're gonna put your weight into the band, and then pull up, much more challenging. So just one more option for doing pull-ups at home. So with that, go ahead, order your pull-up bar, start doing your pull-up workouts, and get a really strong, buff back. I'll see you soon on fithealthymoms.com.